Okay, in this video I'm going to create a new Mesa project. I'm going to install with the latest version of Mesa, which seems to be an active development and converting to um, version 3.0. Uh, so I'm going to get my local environment to use the latest code. Uh, and then I'm going to create a new project within this examples folder and get something very simple running. Okay. So I'm going to start with the documentation. I noticed in the best practices, they have this short command to make a boilerplate called a Mesa start project. Okay, so I'm going to where should I do this? I think I'm going to just do it inside examples right now to make it easy to get things going and then maybe I'll move it elsewhere later. Okay, so Mesa start project. But before I do that, I actually want to upgrade my Mesa just in case anything's changed. I don't want to create a new project the old way. Um, so if you saw the first video, I had cloned the repo and installed locally um, by pip install dot. But that um, gave me this, and then I had to check out an old commit and reinstall to make it work with the old examples. So now I'm basically going to reverse that. I'm going to check out the latest commit. Switch to commit. Okay, now I'm going to go back to that directory. And pip install dot again, okay. It looks like it uninstalled 2.3.1 and installed 3.0.0. Cool. Now I will go back to the examples directory. Let me zoom in here. Okay, and then there's the examples directory. Let's get rid of all that. Okay, Mesa's examples. Okay, now I'm going to run the command Mesa start project. Okay, project. I'm going to call this. Um, ant colony optimization traveling salesman problem. That's where I'm headed. Okay. Yes, I will take that suggestion. Yes, that's the camel case. Yes. That's fine. And implementation of ACOTSV. Okay, so now it's created a new directory for me with all this new code. I'm going to go ahead and check out a new branch. Huh. Just in case I push it. Okay, so now I have my own branch. Let's check out what we have here. It's empty. All right, so it created kind of a dummy model for me here. Uh, so each agent 
It just has a unique ID and the model that it attaches. Here's the actual model. Okay. Random activation, multi-grid. I don't know why it's complaining about this. <clears> How <throat> oh, interesting. It can't find this data collection either. Okay. So, boilerplate. Solera Viz. Okay, a README. And a setup. Okay, so I believe the current way is to do this. Solara run app.py. So it's created this app.py for me. Okay, I need to go into my directory first. Yes, I have my app.py. Let's see what happens. Okay. It looks like I have Some things running. Let's just change one thing to see if it works. Yeah, we changed from pink to blue. Okay, great. I don't think this is needed. Yeah. Cool, so if you were doing this from scratch, you could just simply um, clone this repository, navigate into it, uh, pip install dot to install, or they have this uh, command here to install it from the web. Um, so this would do the same thing. And then you run that Mesa start projects, and you're already uh, off to the races. Now we can start making some changes, and I'll save that for the next video.